Well, I think one of the world's greatest paradoxes is that the majority of the people that go hungry in this world are actually farmers whose profession is to grow food. Uh, they have this hunger season. In West Africa, they call it the hungry season. Uh, it's just mind-boggling that this is actually occurring. I believe famine is a wake-up call for the world, really. As human beings, we respond to emergency and we mobilize emergency aid and relief aid, and that's really badly needed uh, to help people that are literally starving right now. We can't band-aid this problem forever. We need permanent solutions and lasting solutions. And for that to happen, we really need to invest in long-term agriculture development. I distinctly remember one thing that happened when I first visited Kenya. Uh, I visited one farmer. She was yielding two tons of food per acre. Her family was just totally thriving. Her neighbor was yielding a half ton of food per acre, and her family was really suffering. She had lost a child. It's like someone had smacked me over the head. You know, how can, this, how can these two neighbors have such different results? And it became just simple seed, fertilizer, and training, uh, and harvest market access that ultimately formed our program model. And those are the things that we provide. Those are the things that allow a farmer to more than double their farm profit on every planted acre. We started off with just 40 farmers, loaning them seed and fertilizer and training them. And it speaks to the hunger and the thirst that people have for these services that has, has succeeded beyond my wildest imaginations. In the next nine years, we'll be serving at least a million farm families per year. This is the kind of growth that we can achieve just because there's such vast need. Even one million farm families per year is unsatisfying. That's less than 1% of the world need. I think we really, if we really want to think about changing the world and actually changing a significant number of people's lives, we really need to start thinking more ambitiously and at scale. We think we're a very unique organization. Uh, one important innovation that we have is that we provide a comprehensive bundle of services for farmers starting from scratch. So we think that it's important to distribute seed and fertilizer to them. We think it's important to finance it. We think it's important to train them and help them access harvest markets. It's been very challenging in the past, I think, for organizations to put all those pieces together. We've honed it down to what we think is the simplest pieces, and we provide all of those things so that someone starting from scratch can succeed. Uh, I heard that there is an organization called One Acre Fund. They have come up with a technical planting. Last year there is a farmer who planted just next to this house and in half an acre he harvested around 10 packs. And I couldn't even afford to, to harvest even 5 packs. You know, I was at the market there, then I had somebody talking about it, that we had having a, a project. They just give you import and then you pay as a loan. We are so interested, so we told him to come and teach us about it. Ah, I was so happy because I was uh, feeling that if I can join One Acre Fund, I think I will be a happy man. <laughs> yeah, so I, as I heard that, I joined immediately. Again, the most permanent solution to famine is for our families to start producing uh, sustained increases in their harvests year after year after year. Eventually we'll be able to eradicate famine. We are one